Hello Air Science, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything, love, finances, friendship, trips, um, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. The first spread is for all of you, it's like a bonus, and then there's going to be a separate spread for every air sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Please sh like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all air signs. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Chariot, and uh, we also have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or absolutely any Zodiac sign. It had no point for me to clarify anything, because it's crystal clear. It is going to be different uh, depending on your uh, particular situation, but this spread is talking about you worrying. Worrying so much, it's not even funny. But uh, there's going to be a victory. <laughs> okay? So we have two cards that could be interpreted as cards of somebody overthinking, very worried, somebody who is nervous, somebody who is like, oh my god, what's going to happen? And uh, we also have two victory cards. <laughs> okay? Maybe you're dealing with another person and both of you are worried about how a date is going to go or how this is going to plan out, pan, pan out, play out and things like that. Right? Um, yeah, so maybe one per person. Or maybe you're, you know, applying for jobs, or maybe you just went through an interview and you don't know if they're gonna call you back and let you know if the job is yours. I think it is. This, both the Six of Wands and the Chariot are victory, success, triumph cards. These are cards of being recognized, awarded, rewarded, promoted, getting a job, winning, and all that good stuff. The only red flag, the only piece of advice I have for you, if you still have to do something about this, right? If you still have to prepare, if you still have to do your homework, if you still have to put time, effort into this, whatever it is, still do it, right? Don't take this spread for granted. Don't, don't take this spread for granted, but don't worry too much. Don't overthink it either. All right? Cool. Gemini, we have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Page of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords clarified by the Six of Swords, then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Star, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing uh, with an Aquarius or absolutely any zodiac sign. I assume you're the Queen of Swords here, Gemini, unless you're dealing with a fellow air sign. Right? And uh, somebody is going somewhere. <laughs> it could be you going somewhere by yourself or maybe with another person. Somebody could be coming over and maybe then both of you will go somewhere together or something like that. But there's definitely a trip. There's def somebody is definitely traveling here. All right, and for some of you it could be like a dream vacation or a dream destination, some place you always wanted to go or something like that, all right? Yeah, the Eight of Wands, the first card that came out, and the Six of Swords, clarifying the Queen of Swords, both of those two cards could be interpreted as cards of literally going somewhere. Maybe you're moving, maybe you're moving, maybe you bought a new place, or you rented a new place, and uh, you're moving in, <laughs> all right? But uh, the Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. It is a card of travel, uh, communication, it's also the Cupid's Arrows card, by the way. Okay, it's clarified by the Page of Cups, so somebody is going to be reaching out to you or inviting you, or maybe this is you reaching out to somebody and inviting someone. On the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes, yes, let's go, yes, let's do it. Yeah, uh, it's also a card of a new beginning. And uh, at the end we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Star. Both of those two cards are wish come true cards. So it's definitely some sort of a wish that is being granted to you, Gemini. If it is your birthday, but happy birthday by the way, maybe you're going somewhere for your birthday. Okay? Um, the Star could be an Aquarius, by the way, you could be dealing with But the, both the Nine of Cups and the Star are wish come true cards. And the Star is the only uh, major arcana card on the table. So it's maybe this is something you always wanted or wanted for a long time. All right? Cool. Libra. Uh, we have the Seven of Wands clarified by the Nine of Cups. Uh, we have uh, the Hierophant, the Sun, and uh, the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo or any zodiac sign. Well, you're fighting for something here, <laughs> Libra, because we got to fight for your right. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah, we start with the seven of ones and we also have the five of ones on the bottom of the deck. Drama, fighting for something, competing for something, putting your foot down, proving yourself, defending yourself, defending your vision, defending your position. 
Something among those lines, right? Uh, the Seven of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups, which is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment. So this is something good for you. This is something you want. This is something that will give you satisfaction. Okay, it's also a card of an event, by the way. <laughs> so maybe that song I just tried to sing is not out of, out of the place here. But uh, then we have the Hierophant and, and the Sun, right? The Hierophant could be a Taurus, the Sun could be a Leo. But uh, the Hierophant, those two could be talking about the good thing about the, the last card, the sun, right? It's the happiest card in the deck. So whatever it is you're fighting for, competing for, I think uh, eventually you'll be very happy with the outcome, right? Um, and uh, the Hierophant could be a Taurus, you know, but uh, the Hierophant could also be a card of something formal, official, traditional, something religious, something uh, educational, something spiritual. You know, it, the Hierophant is a very serious card, but the, and so is the Sun, right? And the Sun, I, like I said, it's the happiest card in, in the deck. So I think at the end of the day, you'll be happy. You'll get what you want. All right, cool. Aquarius, we have the Two of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, we have Justice, and uh, we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with uh, maybe a Libra or any zodiac sign. This is such an amazing spread, Aquarius. It really is. I can interpret it so many different ways. Some of you could be uh, getting engaged. <laughs> uh, some of you could be uh, getting ready to get married and maybe filing for a marriage license. Some of you could be moving in into a new home or buying a new home over the weekend. Um, Maybe some of you are getting a job offer and you're taking it and you're like signing paperwork or something like that. Those are the scenarios I see here. These are all good, amazing scenarios. The only major arcana card we have on the table is Justice right next to the deck. Justice could be a Libra, you're doing, but uh, Justice in this case is um, either government, right, or maybe a workplace or something that requires paperwork. Okay, something that requires signatures, filing paperwork, it could be an actual place, by the way, where people get married, like a chapel, um, or a city hall, or what have you. Right, because we start with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card, and there's two people in the Two of Cups. That's you and your person, right? And uh, it's a card of when two people are on the same page, both people are in love, or it's also a card of like people shaking hands creating partnerships, signing paperwork, and things like that, right? On the bottom of the deck, we have the six on ones. It's a victory, success card. It's a card of recognition. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. And then back in the day, the six on ones used to be called the proposal card. <laughs> All right, in the, in the middle, we have the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles could be a, um, an engagement ring or an actual wedding band. Or the Page of Pentacles could be a down payment on something. Or the Page of Pentacles could be paperwork. It's classified by the Ten of Pentacles, which is a card of either real estate or an actual marriage. Right? It's also a family card, and it's a card of financial abundance. Financial abundance. And going back to the Justice card, yeah, this is going to get serious. It's going to go through the government for some of you, or through um, a chapel, or what have you. And uh, it's legal <laughs> with everything in order. All right? Cool.